guys and welcome back to Inna Imperfection. It's Angie and we're finally back to this lovely let's play we're doing. We're pretty much at the end of it. But <clears throat> I lost data so I lost the episodes and finally I managed to replay and we're going to finish the series now. It's going to be like over the hills, just me reading, given I saw everything, I know what will happen. Not so long ago, but you didn't, so enjoy the show. Ina? Do you have family? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, what? Will you snap out of it already? You're making me feel embarrassed. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. What was the question? I asked if you had family. Family? Uh, yeah, um, I have a father. Well, there's a surprise. I actually found out something new about your personal life. I feel like I know next to nothing about you. It's like you're shrouded in this uh, mystery Zara. I don't even know your last name. What is your last name, by the way? I suppose it's okay to tell her. Antonova. Inna Antonova, huh? That's so cool. That makes you seem even more mysterious. I should have asked you your last name a long time ago. What is that? Russian? <laughs> yeah. Lian leans forward. I can almost see the stars in her eyes. So, are you from Russia? Uh, can we please talk about something else? I don't think I'm ready to talk about this just yet. Okay. A lot can be said about Lillian, but there is no denying that she can be pretty understanding. Your dad, what is he like? Sometimes. He is um, a resolute person, a man of principles. He doesn't talk much, but he has a way of communicating his feelings through actions. He can be very considerate. He was also very strict. Growing up, I was always afraid of displeasing him, but at the same time, I respected him deeply. He sounds different from my dad, but he still seems nice. He must be proud of how you turn out. He always demanded perfection. I'm not sure if I was able to meet his expectations. As a child, I would keep trying to win his approval or get some sort of an acknowledgement, but I may have lost sight of some basic values along the way. You're talking as if he's dead. There will be plenty of chances for you to show him what you're made of. Yeah, I'm sorry for rambling, I uh, got a little carried away. Lian shakes her head. No, it's nice to hear you talk about yourself for a change. What is he doing these days? He's not well. He's um, currently hospitalized. Oh, uh, well, I hope he gets better soon. Mm. The house has been giving me looks for a while now. I think he wants us to clear the table. Let's do that then. It's getting late anyway. I have to get you home. Alright. Can we um, do this like every now and then? <laughs> yes, of course. Great, okay. Just making sure you got the... Uh... Right, let's give a fellow a break and get out of here.
Things are going well. I'm, I'm trying to change. Hmm. An approving note from Sam is a rare attainment. I feel better now. I am starting to see things differently. It's going to take time, but I'm going to bring about an evident difference. That's good. All that matters is that you try. When you resign yourself to circumstances you have already lost, keep trying. Better yourself. Yes. I, uh... I have made a friend. She's helping me change the way I see things. We've been talking more lately. I feel like her vitality is contagious. I feel more alive when I'm around her. Sam's face begins to show the traces of a smile. Hmm. Keep good company. Surround yourself with people of integrity. So, how your, how's your dad doing? Is he okay now? Dad draws a smile from me. I haven't yet explained Sam's condition to Lillian. No, he is not alright now. He'll probably be in there a while. I see. Maybe... Maybe I can meet him someday? Meet him? Is... Is that a bad idea? It should be alright. Probably. No, uh, no, it's not. Maybe you can, someday. Great! How would I introduce myself? <laughs> I don't know. It was your idea. So... Uh, is it okay if I said I was your friend? No, silly. I inadvertently let out a burst of laughter. I don't know. In his condition, it might not be a good idea to give him any surprises. And also, I'll check you out the window if you say anything funny. I wave my fingered hair in mock anger. Near her eyes, Lillian leans in closer. Funny as in... Oh, shut up! Somehow everything seems a little brighter now. Sometimes I find myself smiling for no reason. I don't know how long this will last, but... Right now, I just want to live in the moment. And here we are, guys, with the end of Innate Imperfections. We really were very close to the end. I, I really like the story. I enjoy it very much. I hope you enjoy it too, together with me. Of course, there are other roads. There are probably roads where Ina stays as depressed as she was. I don't really feel like trying to find other roads because this one really satisfied me it was a really nice uh, story although well, from what I learned it was still only a demo so there's probably more mm, maybe more scenes with some more uh, you know characters like Mel oh I forgot about those so cute such a cute photo <laughs> oh yes. I wonder who was making this photo. <laughs> yeah, and Ines face is priceless. Oh um anyway yes, um there's another game in which the creator of this one was uh artist so I probably am going to check it out sometime soon um yeah there are many games waiting online many visual novels so yeah 
once again guys thanks so much for joining me on this journey thanks for watching i'll see you very soon in another official another or a bitch maker or just another indie game <laughs> see ya sweet cakes <laughs>